All right, so in today's video, I will show you how to install and set up a better RTP, a Minecraft plugin that allows you to randomly teleport somewhere in your server. Now, this could, for example, be really handy for a Minecraft survival server where people just spawn in the world and everywhere around the spawn there has already been built. Well, with better RTP, you can just randomly teleport to a place in the server where it hasn't been built yet, so you can immediately start surviving. So in today's video, I will show you everything you will need to know about installing the plugin, setting it up, and everything you will need to edit in the config file. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you're subscribed to the channel. My analytics shows me that most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though it would only take a second of your day, you would help me out a lot and you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Now the first thing you will need to do is go to the link in the description of this video and download better RTP from spigot.mc. After downloading it, you should have a .jar file, just drag it into your plugins folder. Now after installing better RTP, restarting your server and coming back in game, you will be able to do slash RTP, just like that. And like you can see, we're going to teleport. The better RTP plugin is actually looking for a safe location where we can teleport to. And like you can see, it has teleported us in three attempts. What does that mean? Basically, better RTP was looking for safe locations where they could teleport us to. And after three attempts, they found a safe location for us and they teleported us. So we just teleported to a completely random location. So we're now on X611, Y66 and Z899. Now let's just put this command in again. Better RTP, it's teleporting, waiting to find a safe location, just to see where it will bring us. And there we go. We've been teleported to the same Y level, but on the X coordinate, we're like 100 blocks away. And on the Z coordinate, we're about like 200 or 300 blocks away. Now you can imagine that in a Minecraft survival server, this could be really handy. You can let people use better RTP at the spawn of your server, and they will just randomly teleport to a place where they can start surviving. Like that, they don't have to walk all the way to look for a location where nobody is built yet. Because usually in most Minecraft SMP servers, people tend to really like building around the spawn. So everywhere, around the spawn is completely built full. So it's nice to just be able to teleport away. Now better RTP would not be better RTP if it were just a regular RTP plugin. You can do much and much more with it. So let's do slash RTP and then we're gonna look for a biome. So let's put in biome and now we can literally put in a biome and better RTP will look for it. So I really want to go to, let's see, deep ocean deserts, uh, nah, flower forest. That sounds nice. There we go. I want to teleport to a flower forest. Good luck. So now better RTP is going to look for a flower forest. And as soon as it has found a flower forest for me, it will teleport me there. Could not find a safe spot within 32 attempts. You are not RTP'd. That's a shame. So the amount of attempts that better RTP can take to teleport you somewhere, you can actually customize that in the config file. By default, it's 32. And in 32 attempts, it couldn't find a flower forest, so it didn't teleport me. So let's go to another location. Let's just try try again. I mean, I want my flower forest. That's now going to be the goal of this video. I want to be in a flower forest. I want to grab some flowers. Okay, once again, flower forest. Come on, you can do it. Ah, there we go. You've been teleported. It took seven attempts, but like you can see, we're now inside of a flower forest biome. That is looking great. So the reason you might want to set the attempts that RTP can take to teleport you not too high is because otherwise it would just be a very long wait. I mean, it's not 32. If you would set it to like max 200, then people will have to wait for minutes until they would finally get teleported or until they finally would get a message that RTP can find the biome and you will just, you know, have to try somewhere else. So we can just teleport to whatever biome we want. It is very, very handy. And also you can use it to teleport to a different world. So if you have like multiple worlds, like a nether and an end, it can also RTP you to a random location inside of that world. So let's just try that. Let's do RTP world. Then we're going to the nether because it's nice. And then we can choose a biome. What kind of biomes do we have inside of the nether? Ah, warped forest. There we go. So now we're gonna RTP to a world. The world is called World Nether. And it's gonna look for a biome called the Warped Forest. Sounds great. Let's freaking go. Yes, there we go. Okay. 
we're getting teleported. We need to go deeper. You've been teleported in 15 attempts. That's not too bad. Okay, we're inside of a warped forest. How freaking awesome is that? I don't have a single item, but we're inside of the nether, so that's safe. Now, of course, you can make it so that players can only access the commands that you want them to access. You can, of course, not give them those permissions, and they won't be able to. Now, if you don't know at all how to set up permissions in Minecraft, I've made a tutorial on the best permissions plugin out there, Lookperms. So if you've not set up any permissions on your Minecraft server, a link will be in the top right corner of the screen right now. I would highly suggest checking it out. Anyways, that will be the functionality of this plugin. Now, let's go to the config file and see what we can change there. Alright, so here we are inside of the better RTP config file. If you don't know how to locate your config file, it's really easy. Just go to the folder where your Minecraft server lives, then to the plugins folder, then to the better RTP folder, and then you will see the config.yml file. Open it, and this is what you will see. So here we have the better RTP config file. Now the first setting you can change is the language. We're not gonna change it, English is fine. So let's scroll down a little bit and here you will see settings. And this might be the most important part on your Minecraft server. So here you can basically say, better RTP, I have another plugin on my server. I want you to respect that plugin. So we got World Guard here. We got Grief Prevention here. We got Townie here, Red Protect, Factions, and much, much more. So all these plugins are basically region claim plugins. Not exactly, of course, they all work very differently, but they all have something to do with regions. So World Guard, for example, you can make a World Guard region. If you would set this to true, which you probably want, then people can't RTP inside of a World Guard region. And the same thing goes for grief prevention. So let's also set this one to true. If you have grief prevention on your server, that means that players are able to claim an area where they can build in. And they will be the only ones that can build inside of that area. Now, of course, it will be very, very weird if you would RTP and all of a sudden you would randomly stand in the middle of someone's living room. That will be very, very strange. Now, if you set the respect setting of grief prevention to true, then better RTP will hook in to grief prevention. And if you RTP, it will make sure that you don't RTP inside of some body's grief prevention region. Same thing goes for world edit, same thing goes for townie, red protect, as all these other plugins. So on my own Minecraft SMP server, StarCraft SMP, we have World Guard and Grief Prevention. So I will put these both to true. Now Grief Prevention, we use it for players, so players can just make their own Grief Prevention region. And World Guard is actually used for the spawn. So like this, if somebody types RTP, they can never be teleported inside of the spawn, and they can also never be teleported to somebody's home, to somebody's Grief Prevention region. So that is really, really handy, and you absolutely want to enable these. So if you're using any of these plugins, which you probably are if you're running a public Minecraft SMP server, then absolutely go to the config file and put these to true because it will make the better RTP plugin work a lot better. Now here we got the amount of chunks preloaded around a safe location. So the preloaded radius is now 5. Kasasara, what does this mean? Well, basically, as soon as you teleport, first, better RTP will look for a location for you. It will look for a safe location where you can teleport to. Now, as soon as it has found a safe location for you, it will actually go on and preload that safe location. So you won't be teleported into nothingness, but the server will actually preload some chunks for you. So it won't seem like you just teleported into the void and everything still needs to get loaded in. Now, right now it is on five. So that means that five chunks around the place where you're getting teleported to will be loaded in already as soon as you teleport there. Now, I don't know why you would want to put this higher. I mean, it will only make the teleportation process longer and the rest of the chunks will load in anyway. It will just take a little time. So I would leave this to five, just leave it as default. But if you want to change it, this is where you can do it. We also have the max attempts here. So the max attempts is 32. If you would want to change this for some reason, you totally can. So we can put this to 200, for example, and then better RTP has 200 chances to find a safe location for you. Now, of course, this will take a lot longer. So the chance of you actually getting teleported the first time you type slash RTP are much higher, but if it can't find a location anywhere, then you will have to wait a long time before you finally get the message that better RTP can't find a safe location for you. So this will be completely up to your preference. I'm just gonna leave it at 200 because I think it's funny. Now here you got RTP on first join. So as soon as people join the server for the very first time, should they RTP? Should they randomly teleport? Now in a Minecraft survival server, I can imagine that this could be handy. Now I actually wouldn't recommend this, except if you have some 
kind of spawn world. Because here you can also classify the world that people need to enter to first RTP. So in this case, the default world in Minecraft is just called world. So as soon as people enter the world called world for the very first time, they will RTP. Now let's say you had a spawn world on your server. So you have a spawn world and there will be just be a spawn there. And people will be able to get some information there and read the general rules and all that stuff. And after that, they would go to a portal. Then they would go to the world called world. And then they would RTP. Then I think it could work. But if they spawn for the very first time, if they literally spawn inside of the world called world, then the first thing they will see when they join the server for the very first time is not rules, no spawn, nothing like that. No, just they will immediately get teleported and good luck. I wouldn't do that. I mean, it's a choice. It's your choice. But I wouldn't do that. And over here you can also enable the option set as respawn point. So basically that makes the place where people will RTP to their new spawn point. So if you join the server, you will get RTP'd. And then that place where you will RTP to, that will be your new spawn point if you die and you haven't slept in a bed yet. Now a little bit more down, you got the cooldown. Do you want a cooldown on your RTP command? You probably want, because you don't want people to constantly RTP. So in this time it is on 600, which means that if they use the slash RTP command, they can't use it after that for an additional 600 seconds. So here on line 53, you can also set if you're using a world border on your Minecraft server. Now of course every single Minecraft server has a world border, but they're basically asking have you shrinked it have you made it smaller so normally you can go to x 30 million or something well let's say you would have set the world border to just 1 million then you would have to put this to true now here you can put in the biomes that people can teleport to now then you get the max radius and min radius so let's say you type slash rtp then the better rtp plugin will look for a safe location for you that is at least more than 10 blocks away from you and at a maximum more than 1000 blocks away from you so it will basically search for a safe location in a region around you now, if you want people to just randomly teleport somewhere extremely far in the world, you can of course set this higher. You can set it to 100,000. So if people type slash RTP now, they could teleport to somewhere 50,000 blocks away. Do you want that? That all depends on the kind of server you have. Normally I would say no, because if you have a Minecraft survival server and you set this radius way too big, then people will never find each other. And if people can find each other, then it will just be like you're just playing in single player. So I don't think you want that, but maybe you would want to set it to something like 10,000. That could be fun. Now a bit lower, we got the blacklisted blocks. So what blocks should better RTP not teleport you on? Here we got water, lava, flowing lava, leaves. So basically you won't spawn on a tree, you won't spawn in the water, you won't spawn in lava. You also won't spawn on a cactus, which of course inflicts damage. So we'll actually look for a safe spot for you. Now, if you would add a material to here. So let's say you want people to not spawn on grass, for example. Grass, block, there we go. Now people can't RTP to grass. So they will always need to spawn on something else. For example, sand. Do you want this? No. Is it fun? Yes. Can you change it? Yes, for sure. <laughs> Now here you got worlds where RTP is disabled. So let's say you have a prison world or a creative world. Then you can make sure RTP is disabled there. And then the rest is not really that interesting except for here at the bottom. So here you got permission groups. Now what is the nice thing about permission groups, Casasura? Well basically, like I said, the Lookworms tutorial is in the top right corner of the screen. You can check it out if you want. But the nice thing about making permission groups is that you can make it so that people have different rules while RTPing. So let's say you have a VIP group on the server, you can make it so that their max radius will be a lot higher than for example a default player that hasn't paid for anything now like you can see here you can also set a price so you can make it so that a default player will need to pay 100 to rtp but a vip player will only need to pay 10 and like that you can make vip more distinguished from just normal default player which in turn might make it so that more people want to buy your vip rank now these here are the permission groups and right now they're disabled if we scroll a little bit up again, then over here at line 55, you will actually see the default group. So this is what will count for everyone on the server that doesn't have any of these permission groups assigned to the group that they're in. So let's say you won't touch this at all, you won't do anything with it, then all these rules here won't count. Only the rules here will count for everyone on the server. And then guys, that's gonna be all for now. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really, really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And then, that will be all for now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.